Hi, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're all well and I uh, hope you're having a great week. And as always, thank you for subscribing. Um, so I'm going to be reacting to um, a group from 1985. And um, this is a track called Lean On Me and it's by a group called Redbox. And um, this entered the UK Top 40 sometime in August, but it was there for an awful long time. And it was still kicking around in October as well. And um, and I've never seen this video before. I kind of vaguely remember the song and I'm really looking forward to um, to kind of reacting to this video because I've heard that this band were, they had uh, some political leanings. Um, there's a lot of bands of this, of this era from this year that were kind of reflecting uh, the kind of state of the UK uh, over previous years. Uh, there was a lot going on politically and socially. Um, so without further ado, this is Red Box with Lean on Me. Red Box. it there it's, um, so I mean kind of I feel that it's basically saying that people people want to be heard um, uh, you know like um, and we we don't want to just be heard as individuals we want to be heard as collectives as well um, and, and from the very very young to the very very old um, everybody has to have that kind of ability to say um, you know I can't um, it, it feels like um, I don't know if this is a rebellious song. I don't know if this is a song referring to things like the minor strike. Um, but I, 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 and I'll probably come back to this end. There is one thing um, about this song that kind of just jumped into my mind, and um, and it's a reference to Live Aid, which uh, I, I probably kind of maybe mention more at the end. Uh, I, I love, I love the video, the simplicity of this video, um, the kind of hidden meetings uh rushing by and um it's, it's a beautiful tune as well
So that was uh, that was Red Box with uh, Lean on Me. Um, another really beautiful, powerful song. Um, and you know what? It's that's kind of really heartwarming. Um, it, it there's no kind of negativity I felt in it. There may be a political message behind it, but uh, I, there's no kind of negativity. It, it's basically saying, you know, we the people, we have the power. We've got the power. We just need to. Um, we just need to say. We just need to say what's on our minds, um, and we need to say what's on our minds from our level. Uh, we don't need to be manipulated to, to to say this about that, uh, and that's something completely different. I mean, these days, you know, uh, with social media, with with uh, with the media. Um, they kind of like to guide people into two camps, always two camps. Uh, they like people to be at each other's throats about everything uh, while they look down from their ivory towers and laugh. Uh, and it kind of feels like the same with governments, with the same with any, any powerful kind of organisation. They like to manipulate the little people. And I hate to say like I'm becoming like really radical, but it, it really kind of annoys me when I see people at each other's throats and I'm thinking, you know what, you've, you've got, you've, you've bloody well got as much in common with them, more in common with each other, but then, then, then you've then separate you. No, um, and, and that's it, you know, we've got so much more in common. We might disagree about one thing, but then we, if we stop and think about it, we're kind of like brainwashed into disagreeing in a way. We're fed information. Um, it's one big stirring pot for, for, the, for the media to to like draw us in like that. And, and I think I liked about this video and uh, this was, I think about uh, late, uh, well, October 1985, came out in August. Uh, I'm just wondering if, there was the opportunity for when this was written and how far before uh, Live Aid it was written. Um, if it was written after Live Aid, perhaps there was a reflection, especially with all the different kind of cultures featured in the video, uh, an opportunity to, to kind of reflect on what Live Aid was really about. And I have this like debate with people Lots of times, um, and people say it was a waste of money because uh, a lot of what Live Aid produced was kind of either stolen, uh, it was wasted. Uh, I know of plenty of accounts um, from Ethiopia where, where um, stuff specifically raised through Live Aid, uh, food, food sources, etc were being sold on a black market. Um, but that, for me, um, and only on reflection, because at the time of Live Aid, I thought Live Aid was, was totally about um, raising money to kind of feed the starving. And, but on reflection, years later, uh, the biggest, most important thing about Live Aid was that it was the first time I can remember in my history and I, and I think possibly in in global history where everybody has had the opportunity on one day every 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 all of us small people have had the opportunity on one day to say to every single government around the world enough you need to give something back you need to look after the starving people in the world you need to look after the after poverty if it was written, if this song was written after that date, then for me, it kind of really reflects that it, it kind of encapsulates that moment. Um, people power, we've always got the power. It doesn't matter what the governments want to do. If enough people get together and say, you're not doing that, it's not happening on my streets, in my cities, in my country, uh, the government will stop and listen. And uh, God, I'm sounding really political here, but this is what I love about this song. It's about you can have 10 people, you can have one person, as long as that one person sparks the fire of debate, 
uh, then then ten people will stand up and back and back them. Um, even if it even if that's out of a thousand people, you know you have to start uh, and say what you believe in, and maybe make a stand and maybe do it at cost to yourself. You know your job, your your home. Uh, but if it's something you really really believe in, um, I, in my heart, in my naivety, then I believe that it will come good in the end. Again, guys, that was another really powerful video. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, such a beautiful kind of like song as well. Uh, um, you know, call to arms. Um, if if only kind of by debate, maybe. Um, you know, let me know what you think about this video. A lot of messages in that video that probably passed me by. Uh, little signs they were putting up. Um, there were people kind of going around in the background. There's a lot to kind of take in. Um, but I loved it. I really, really loved it. And I loved revisiting this. Uh, and again, it kind of means quite a lot to analyse and not try and understand the context of of what they're singing about. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, till next time, take care of yourselves. And as always, thank you for subscribing. It kind of really means a lot to me that uh, people watch my channel because I don't always feel um, totally uncomfortable in front of a camera. And um, till next time, anyway, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you all soon uh, with some more reactions.